As the grid grows smarter, keeping substation devices secure and up to date has become a critical challenge. Managing these devices isn't just about efficiency, it's about resilience and cybersecurity. This is Powering the Future, a podcast series brought to you by Smart Grid Forums. One planet, one power grid. Joining us today is Adrian Kiss, Cybersecurity Specialist at Mavir Hungarian Transmission System Operator, to discuss how new platforms and approaches are helping operators safeguard the grid of the future. So welcome, Adrian, to the podcast. Thank you so much for joining us today. Hello, and thank you for this opportunity. So Adrian, I know that you're working quite hard at Mavir on a new device management platform to assist with your cybersecurity management. Give us an overview of this platform and why it's being developed. As we work right now, there's a lot of uh, device we manage here at Mavir. There are uh, many substations and there is more than 5,000 devices in these substations. And uh, it's hard to manage how vulnerabilities or any functionality update there is for these devices. And uh, we have to tell the colleagues which device and where it is and uh, how to get this update. But because of uh, there are these operating substations, we can't update anywhere and anytime we want. And uh, it's hard to make this management because there's a lot of uh, functionality and cybersecurity uh, update every day from time to time. So we need a platform where we can manage the devices, uh, where are them, where which substation are them, and uh, the firmware configurations, and uh, we, we can um, make an advice to the colleagues you have to, for example, you have to make this update because it's a critical vulnerability from uh, maybe the next month you have to make this update. And as I understand it, this platform is being uh, created and managed in-house at Mavir. It's not a commercial platform, is that right? Yes, it's not a commercial platform, but uh, we will make in uh, inside our house or we have to uh, search for a developer. Yeah. But there is no uh, any solution for that, this. So there's no solution on the market at, at the moment. That's the reason you're developing it in-house. As far as I know, yes. Okay. Uh, tell us a bit about what the efficiency goals are. So in terms of how much faster you'll be able to execute on these um, actions, you know, what is the time that you're achieving right now and what is the goal with this automated platform? I don't know how many engineer hours we need to uh, manage these uh, updates, but there's a lot of hours and uh, it's a uh, very chaos. Maybe I can tell this word for this mm -hmm. because there's a lot of uh, uh, email which tell us there's a critical vulnerability or any other vulnerability in the devices. So there's a lot of hour to manage them and the other engineer colleagues to make the updates. So we need the metrics for this platform, how to decide which vulnerability or which update we need to make for the device. So there's a lot of efficiency, efficiency in this platform. Uh, is this um, as such a productivity booster for your cybersecurity team? So in other words, will it still need some manual um, operation or is it fully automated and really allowing the machines to take over and take control? Right now it's fully manual. That's why we need this, but uh, we hope the platform will be automated. Fully automated, 100%, yeah. Except the, the advice making, it will, uh, will be our team. Right, okay. So there will be some operational um, activity. There will be human intervention, but then uh, automated action. Yes, yes. We will see the device in the platform. We see the configuration and maybe when was the last update for this configuration. And we see that there's a critical vulnerability. We will uh, think about our with our metrics and we will uh, decide, uh, we give advice to uh, make the update for the engineer colleagues, or we will accept 
this risk. And as um, things evolve, what do you think the platform will need to be able to do in the next, let's say, two to three years? How are the risks evolving and what new features will be required? Maybe the most important, as I said earlier, is the advice making because there's a lot of another our colleagues, which uh, there's a lot of device they can handle. So uh, we can't communicate with them with, oh. with just uh, email, for example, because there's there will be a lot of spam if we do that. And uh, there's a lot of new cybersecurity risk, which we can handle with this platform. And we want to implement these risks and this critical and other uh, cybersecurity risk. So we can manage with this platform, maybe ransomware, and we see that what is a ransomware and what to do if we uh, are attacked. So there's a lot of uh, feature we want to implement with this platform. And in terms of the longer term potential of the platform, do you think it's something that other utilities around Europe might be interested in adopting as well? Could it add value to other operators' infrastructure? We hope. We hope we will make a good practice with this. So this is why we want to uh, talk about in this conference, mm -hmm. uh, for example, because we want to hear them and we want them to know that we are working this solution. Maybe they can uh, use in the future. So, uh, this, we, we, will, we very strongly believe in this solution. That's right. You've kindly agreed to come and discuss your uh, the plans, the roadmap for your platform at SGT26 during the OT cybersecurity track. And um, there will be um, security specialists from around Europe um, during that track. So they will be most interested in understanding the scope of your platform and can also support by um, inputting some suggestions as to what they would expect to see there. Um, so what's the main message that you'd like to share with colleagues at SGT26? We just want to make this specif specification, what we want to make with this platform. And uh, we just want to, I don't know, we just want to make a good solution, which we will, which will help us to manage this uh, lot of uh, chaos in these uh, updates and vulnerabilities. So this is the me message that uh, uh, there's a huge problem uh, in nowadays with this, how to manage the substations and their devices and their cybersecurity. And uh, we very believe that uh, this will solve a lot of problem in every day. Great. Well, Adrian, thank you so much for joining us today and giving us insights into the work that you're doing at Mavir and what you're going to be sharing with our audience at HGT26. We look forward to seeing you there in March. Thank you. Bye for now. Bye. Join us again next week as we unpack another big topic shaping the future of the power grid. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Smart Grid Forums, and to follow us on LinkedIn. Until then, thanks for watching and listening. This is Powering the Future, a podcast series brought to you by Smart Grid Forums. One planet, one power grid.